The goal of my project is to study myosin independent mechanical transmission for sensing the stiffness of its cellular matrix. Most cells in our body need to attach to a solid environment called its cellular matrix for their survival. Recent evidence shows that the stiffness of this matrix changes cells' behavior dramatically. For example, in breast cancer tumors, a stiff matrix promotes metastasis. To sense matrix stiffness, cells have to generate and transmit mechanical force. We believe that the force transferred through a sensor complex called endocrine based focal radiation can lead to different signaling pathways and responses. However, transmission of this force and associated signaling and responses has been unknown. Understanding the process by which cells sense the stiffness of the ECM is thus important for designing a suitable treatment strategy against developmental disorders and cancer. Previous studies have focused mostly on large focal radiations to understand the force transmission. However, the nascent addition and early form of focal addition have been neglected largely due to difficulties in quantifying their dynamics and potential forces from them. The problem of the previous focal addition centered understanding was that in focal additions, a non-muscle -mass, uh, non massing a motor protein within the acting cytoskeleton is dominantly involved in force transmission. However, myosin activity can also be resolved from the mechanical sensing. Thus, measuring the force from the focal radiations cannot reveal why a different force level is transmitted in response to different stiffness. Instead, the force via nascent addition can be a function of actin polarization, which might be independent of the myosin activity. It is thus my hypothesis that the different force transmission is possible within the nascent additions before myosin activity dominate the force transmission. To test this hypothesis, we use the soft elastic gel as an external matrix and coat the floors and beads on top to quantify deformation caused by the cells. Cells can spread, migrate, and divide freely on the substrate. After imaging the cells using the microscope, uh, the cells need to be detached from the surface to see the original and relaxed position of the beads. The combination of the gel assay imaging method and analysis of the images is called transduction force microscopy. The cell images shown here are analyzed using our inbuilt TFM software, which produces these force maps. The level of force produced by the cells on different matrix stiffnesses is then quantified and compared using force maps. Our results currently show that even in the absence of mass in cells feel different force levels on different stiffnesses, as you can see in the graph. This strengthens our hypothesis that force is sensed at the nasal addition level and not at the focal, focal, focal addition. Altogether, my work will elucidate the fundamental mechanism behind the adherent cells stiffness sensing. Thank you.